So if you do have corals like leather corals, make sure that you consider fragging them. So in this case, you'll see there's a little one here, which is a little sucker fighting leather coral. You'll find that down there, there's another one. Over here, there's another one. Is there more? There, there, down the back, there's a few lying around. So, so, so what you can do is get these corals and cut them into pieces, and instead of having one coral, you can have several corals, and they grow really quite well. So you just cut it and secure it to the rock. You've got to make sure that you don't secure the cut surface. You cut, you secure the healthy surface to the rock, and um, keep your iodine level up and keep your water quality high, and they f grow like crazy. The other one that gets fragged in this tank a lot too is corellas. So if you just cut the corella, um, just make sure you cut through the base at one point. You'll often find that the, they'll just split apart and then you'll find that you'll end up with several of them. So whenever you've got corellas, make sure you think about fragging them as well. But make sure with any of these corals, don't frag them out of water. Because if you frag them out of water, um, what's actually happened in the past, my brother was doing that and when he cut the corella it shot its stomach content into his eye and burned a hole in his retina because the um, encoddy cells in the stomach of these things the stinging cells are extremely poisonous so that's something you don't want to do so anytime you're fragging a coral oh well if you're doing a corella anyway it's better to do it under the water leathers are easy they're not going to do anything you can just cut them with a pair of scissors without a problem so that's a leather there, that's a leather there, that's a leather there. Got some decorator urchins as well, they're pretty cool. They cruise around the tank, pick up little particles and put it on their back as a form of security. And with these bigger corals you need to frag them with a hacksaw. You just get that out, cut it in half with a hacksaw. And in general the more you frag a coral, the more pieces you'll end up with and the faster they'll grow because the more surface area to volume ratio they'll have. So a big coral tends to grow slower than, a, than the same volume of coral as several corals because the more exposed their surface area the faster in ratio they grow. Um, Duncan Opsomnius are very easy, you can just split them. So once again, um, if you split them apart and give them some room then they tend to grow faster than if you have them in one big clump. So there's not much you can't fix with a pair of scissors or a hacksaw.